Hello everyone and welcome. I'm continuing on with my video series on Java programming for beginners. In this video we will discuss a common difficulty that every beginner Java programmer encounters and that is does Java pass variables to method parameters by value or by reference? This issue is simply known as passing by value versus passing by reference. Okay, so let us start with a very simple example to clearly illustrate the problem. As you can see, I've already typed out a very simple program, which I've called Pass by Value Demo. And it has two methods, my standard public static void method, which simply means that this program can be called directly from the Java Virtual Machine, and then I have a second method called increment, which is very simple. The increment method simply takes one parameter, p, a numeric value, an integer, and increments it by 1. p is equal to p plus 1. So it's a very simple one-line method. So let's have a look at our main program. We simply declare a variable x of type integer and we initialize it to 5. Then we simply print out this value. Before increment we display x is equal to 5. We then invoke the increment method that we've defined below and then we print out after increment the value of x. Okay, what would you think the value of x should be? Well, most beginner Java programmers would say, well, hold on, look, we've initialized x to 5, so we print it out here, well, x should be 5. We then increment x, and clearly x is incremented by 1, and we print out x, x should equal 6. Well, believe it or not, that doesn't happen. What actually happens is, before the increment value, x is printed as, as 5, as we expect, but also after the increment, x is 5. So what just happened? Why didn't it record the increment operation here? Well, this is exactly the issue. The issue is that in Java, all primitive data types, such as byte, short, int, long, float, double, boolean, character, as well as all objects, they are always passed to a method as by value and not by reference. So what exactly does passing by value mean? Passing by value means that the value of the variable is passed and not the variable itself. In simple English, it means a copy of the variable x is passed and not the variable x itself. If we were to pass by reference, we would actually pass a reference to the original value, the original variable x, and not just a copy. So to reiterate, Java always passes variables to method parameters by value. Always by value and never by reference. And by value we mean it makes a copy of the variable and passes a copy to the method and not the original variable itself. So the parameter p of the method increment receives a copy of the value of x and not a reference to the original x itself. Hence when p here is incremented, it actually increments a copy of x and not your original x. So that after the method increment is invoked and completed, the variable p actually ceases to exist because p only exists within the scope of the method. And recall the scope of the method is all the lines, the statements between the open parenthesis brace and the closing brace of the method. And furthermore, the variable p only ever exists for the lifetime of the method. And by the lifetime I mean it exists as long as it, when the method is invoked and running, but it ceases to exist after the method is finished. So after this method has been invoked and is finished, p no longer exists. So when we print out x, it prints out the original x. The increment method had only modified a copy of the variable x and not x itself. So hopefully that will explain why we got the result that we did. So an obvious question might be, well, what if we wanted to change the increment to x to persist after the method had completed? How would we do that? Well, it's not very difficult. We simply change the method increment to return the value. So at the moment it's void, the return type is void, which means this method does not return anything. So we change it to return a value. So I'm going to change it here to return an integer. And then I will simply write the return keyword here. So return p plus 1. So it's a very simple method. This method receives a copy of the value of x. It increments that copy and then it returns it. 
So the increment method does what we want, but our invocation is not correct. The increment x here will increment the copy of x and return the value, but at the moment it's not stored anywhere. So what we should actually do is assign x is equal to increment x. What this simply means is that the new value of x is equal to the current value of x passes a parameter to increment and the value returned by increment will be assigned to x. So let's run this and see what happens. Compile it first, make sure it compiles successfully, and compile and run. And as you can see, before the increment, x is equal to 5, and after, x is equal to 6. So if you want to pass a parameter to a method, and you want that method to do something, to perform an evaluation and return a result, recall or remember that you must return the value and store that value in the variable before you print it out. That's the key point that I want to show you there. Java always passes by value and never by reference, i.e. Java always passes a copy of a variable to a method as a parameter and not the original variable itself. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video.